In this video, we're going to talk about toggle clamps. A toggle clamp is what is shown here in this image, and it is mounted to a surface, and then the handle is rotated clockwise in the orientation of this particular image anyway. And this uh, rubber bumper at the end of a, a screw comes down, and uh, there would be a part on the table somewhere where my mouse is hovering right now and this bumper would uh, come to rest on top of that part and you'd push this uh, pull that lever just a little bit further and you'd feel kind of a, a tactile click or you'd, you'd feel um, uh, a, a, an engagement uh, between this the plunger and the part and uh, that plunger would then hold down or the, the bumper would hold down the part that you have on your table so uh, fundamentally, uh, toggle clamps are used to hold parts down in place. Um, so let's let's take a look at a a, a real world example. Here we go. So there's a toggle clamp that is mounted to a piece of wood, and it's being used to hold another piece of wood in place. Now there, there are a lot of uh, applications for which you might want to use something like this um, and there are different toggle clamps that are different sizes. This one is kind of on the large end of the spectrum. They're, they're much smaller ones than this as well but they all work uh, with the same principle using uh, some mechanical advantage to, uh, to close uh, or to, um, uh, to push down and, and hold a part in place. Uh, it, because of that mechanical advantage, it's a lot easier for the user to push the handle in place um, or it, it requires less force for the user to push the handle in place and, and lock this down um, than the force that you see at, um, uh, at, at your clamp interface. There, there's going to be a lot more f force exerted here uh, pushing your part in place, holding your part in place than is required to close the uh, the, the handle of the toggle clamp and that's due to the mechanical advantage that is inherent in these um, uh, toggle clamp assemblies. It, it's basically a linkage in there that allows you to achieve that mechanical advantage. So you can push down uh, really pretty hard on a part w without having to you know strain yourself to close that handle. Here's an example of a toggle clamp used in practice. Uh, highlighted in blue is a fairly small toggle clamp. This one is only about, oh, this is the base right here was maybe an inch wide, uh, maybe or an inch long, something like that. So it's a fairly small toggle clamp, uh, but same uh, same principle, where this this lever is moved up and down, and it it raises the clamp or lowers the clamp and and uh, oftentimes at, at the end of a, the toggle clamp there will be this this compliant rubber material and so you can you can push down and, and there's a little bit of compression or um, or give in this rubber tip and, and that can be very helpful in um, getting a really firm uh, connection between the toggle clamp or the part that you're holding down. Uh, in this application we had this this purple part right here and uh, this this darker area part right here, this was uh, a piece of rubber, and the rubber was was uh, bonded to that purple part, and uh, the the whole thing, the purple part with the rubber, would slide up and down on these dowels, and something else was placed in between uh, the the rubber pads, the top and bottom rubber pads. The bottom rubber pad stayed down in this uh, this this block here. Um, so when you uh, push push the toggle clamp down, it would clamp the item that we had in between those pads um, just based on the you know the force applied with this toggle clamp and then that item we had between the plaid pads would be more or less locked in place. And that's that's a great example of how to use a toggle clamp. One more thing to mention in, in regards to toggle clamps is what we've been talking about so far are toggle clamps that hold something down there is another type of toggle clamp called a linear toggle clamp and that's what's shown in this picture right here a linear toggle clamp 
Uh, let's see, here's another example of a linear toggle clamp. And instead of clamping down, a linear toggle clamp uh, uh, has a, a, a sideways back and forth action. And these can be used to clamp things down, but they can also be used for uh, other applications. Um, we had an application in which we, we needed to uh, depress a button on a device uh, in a very repeatable and precise manner. And so what we did was we used the end of a linear toggle clamp to uh, engage that button and we had it set up so that when we pulled the toggle clamp lever um, all the way into the engaged position the the tip of the uh, the barrel over here was just in the perfect position to depress that switch not too far not too um, uh, not too close and it, it worked out really well so there are some more creative uses that you can come up with when uh, for these linear toggle clamps that not just to hold things in place if you found this content helpful consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.